Hi, welcome to this question right here. So, wow, we got a, it looks like an isosceles triangle, okay? Because it says these two lengths are the same, so it's an isosceles triangle, okay? Uh, the 38 meter, uh, the 38 centimeter right here is probably referring to this entire base down here. And it looks like we're trying to figure out the Y, which is like hypotenuse of this triangle right over here, you see that? So what we need to do is we just have to figure out some dimensions right here. So what happened is we do know the entire base is thir uh, the 38, but if you just cut it right in half, that will give you this side and this side equally. So 38 divided by two, we got ourselves 19 and 19. Hopefully that makes sense to you because it's right in the middle of the triangle. So these two sides are equal, okay? So once we have those informations ready, we can figure out the Y now. Why? We got, a right, we got ourselves a right triangle. So you can use the Pythagorean theorem, right? We got a C squared equals the A squared plus the B squared. Then, oh, you look at the diagram one more time. The C, which is the, the hypotenuse of the triangle, is represented by the Y over here. So there's your Y squared. The A and the B can be either one of them, okay? You can put a 12 for A or 9 for A, it doesn't matter. And you put a 12, right? let's, say, let's say I put a 12 for the A and the 19 for my B. Now, you should calculate it quickly. I'm just gonna solve both of them together. It gives you the total. It's a 505 equals to the Y squared. Oops, squared. Now, to solve for Y, you will have to square root both sides. Square root, square root, because this allows you to cancel the square sign right there. Then you get yourself a Y equals to radical square root of the 505. Two decimal places, I got 22. 0.47 and don't forget a unit it's centimeter and that's your final answer for this question thanks for watching